I'm going to introduce a, a little quick activity to do with children, which is popcorn making. And of course, you can do it with a pan and put some butter in it, but this is kind of quite um, inspiring and exciting to do it. So we've got two metal sieves that we've added some wire to tie together. Sometimes people add a pole at the end of it, but I'm just going to use my, my glove. So what we're going to do is it actually helps. There are some sort of top tips, but it helps to heat this up and then put the popcorn in. So sometimes, um, you know, we might put popcorn in and it burns. So then we do it again, right? Um, we have to practice to make perfect. But generally speaking, what I'm going to suggest is we just pop it in right in the flames and heat it up. It won't take very long. It's going to get very hot and get our popcorn out and going to put a little bit of popcorn in a minute. I'm going to open it up with the gloves on, put it inside and then gently hold it over the flame. And if we're lucky, first time we'll have a bit of popcorn. But whilst that's doing that, um, I actually thought we'd do a light, nice little thing, which is we'll make little, we'll use leaves, non-toxic leaves, to make little kind of baskets, if you like, which you can put the popcorn in. Now, this time of year, the leaves are beginning to change color and drop. So I haven't actually done this particularly at the right time of year, but these are weenie. You can get really big sycamore leaves and a bit like uh, the famous environmental arts person, Andy Goldsworthy, he used to take twigs and use them as sort of needles to, to put into things to hold them. So, Simply by using the twigs, you can actually join things together and make a nice little cup.